Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Transdimensional Twitch. Uh, as you can see, we're about to play uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, which is a brand new Deus Ex release that came out two, three days ago. Um, so I've played like I've played about an hour or two of the opening of the game. I've played uh, the prologue mission. I've played. Um, I've buggered around a little bit in the, uh, the central hub of the game, which is Prague. Um, so this is a direct sequel to Deus Ex Human Revolution, which is a great game, one of my favourite games of the last generation, actually. Um, I always thought it was kind of slightly underrated. A lot of not, not a lot of people... Um, re well, a lot of people enjoyed it and thought it was alright, but I really, really, really enjoyed... <laughs> excuse me, Human Revolution. Um, I've... well, again, if you read my articles on the Transdimensional Fish website... Uh, you'll know about my feelings towards the original Deus Ex. I kind of felt that the original Deus Ex was a little bit overrated. Um, I mean, it, it it was certainly attempted to do some great things. Um, oh, I've read that one. Um, but I, I felt its mechanics, especially its stealth mechanics, were completely screwed. Um, and everyone always holds up the storyline as well from the original Deus Ex as being... I, I think maybe more so for its... Um, narrative structure more than its story, its plot, its story and its plot are kind of ridiculous and very much appeal to the um, tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy crowd uh, which I am not of <laughs> thankfully um, I liked the story in Human Revolution better mechanically I just thought it was a better game, I mean I'm not just talking graphically obviously and it was a pretty game and obviously a far more modern game um, but I thought the, the mechanics in Human Revolution. I don't know where the hell I'm going, sorry. I've just completely lost track of what I'm doing. Um, I felt the mechanics in Human Revolution were a lot more refined, better. Um, in terms of playing as a shooter or playing it as a, um, a stealth game, um, it worked a lot better than, uh, than the original Deus Ex did, in my opinion. Um, but that brings us here to Mankind Divided, which there's been a lot of issues on the PC. Luckily, so far, I haven't seen many of them. Um, it seems to be a lot of people who were trying to get the game running on super duper ultra settings on GTX 1080s and the new Pascal range who have been having issues. Um, because I'm not much of a graphics whore, I tend to run everything based on performance rather than kind of visual quality, so I don't tend to have that many problems. And I haven't, you know, my, my uh... I've got a good CPU and a good amount of RAM, but my, I've got a GTX 660, which is a fairly old graphics card now. Um, but, like I say, not many issues. Um, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, there have been kind of um, some controversies with this game in terms of its rather abrupt and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, rather insensitive marketing campaign. That's the, that's the best way to describe it, really. Um, uh, if you've played Deus Ex Human Revolution, you'll know the, the kind of history. For those of you who've never played it, like, essentially this is a kind of cyberpunk future dystopia. Um, people who have augmented limbs, or you know, cybernetic prosthetic limbs, are kind of viewed upon with some disdain thanks to the events of the previous game. So, <laughs> the uh, Square Enix marketing division decided to um, kind of, you know, link link the the uh, mechanical apartheid, as it's called, into kind of you know, real-world issues. So, they took the Black Lives Matter slogan and decided to uh, portray it as augmented, or org lives matter. Um, which didn't go down very well when the marketing campaign released that one. Um, but there we go. But other than that, it's actually a really good game. Um, anyway, I'll shut up talking for now and we'll, we'll carry on for a bit. Don't do anything suspicious. Like, fuck me in the ass. It's, if you, <laughs> yeah, I, I know what many of you are thinking. Yes, it's very reminiscent of Half-Life 2 and City 17. Um, I think that's just kind of an accident. I mean, it does actually look like Prague. And you know, Prague covered in a dystopian cybernetic future would kind of look like City 17 from Half-Life 2. Uh, so I'm heading into the subway to try and... 
um, make my way to my job. Um, Jensen, who you play again, who's the main character or the main protagonist from um, Human Revolution, you're, you're playing him again. Um, in the previous game, again, if you didn't play it, he was the security manager for a high-tech firm. He's moved on from that now, and he's working for a kind of a, um, an NSA-type task force. But it's already been hinted at that there may be a small sinister underpinnings to all that. Uh, ooh, do I have to order the train here? I need to travel in this area, yes. That's it. Uh, there was a bombing in Prague in this story, obviously. Um, the story starts out essentially with a bombing and... That's about all I've seen, really. I say I've played the, pro uh, the prologue, bugged around in the, uh, the world hub. Jensen's on his way to his job now, and I assume the bombing will come into play more now as the story progresses. Um, Smells like police. I hate watching police. What is that? What's he doing? Civilian. I'm gonna be sneaky and have a look around. Can I sneak past here? How can I that? One of the good things about Deus Ex games is you can kind of do this thing if you want to. I mean, again. I think the majority of people play Deus Ex games, um, primarily stealth, I mean you can kind of mix and match how you want to play, and of course, you know, you can go out all guns blazing if you want, but, well these don't seem to be, this is one of um, Jensen's augmented powers, it's kind of a information site as it were, and they usually appear in red if I was in a restricted zone or... So, oh well, I'm gonna go and steal things... I think I can hack into. One good motive for just kind of exploring and breaking into places that you can actually find kind of off the kill... off the... Uh, what am I trying to say? Just off the wall. Uh, secondary missions, you can just stumble upon things that will kind of give you another mission, and you can stumble upon random events that will unlock a, a kind of small campaign for you to do. It's incredible. Uh, the game's getting mixed reviews, actually, which again, it kind of baffles me. I, I adored Human Revolution, it was great. Um, I don't know if it's maybe Deus Ex purists, and again, I'm kind of in the minority. I don't really think the first Deus Ex was that great a game. I know it definitely. It, it's one of. The, it was, for, in, in my opinion, it was a failed experiment. Um, it tried some new things, and some things it did very well. The whole kind of multiple plot threads that could kind of take you down varying story paths, which hadn't really been done well, at least in first person games before. Uh, oh, three, four, right. Mean. But, yeah. I do apologise, I've got a bit of a, the sniffles uh, today. Um, ooh, who's this dude? Civilian. No one's particularly bothered, I'm here. <laughs> you know, yeah, whatever, mate. We get paid fuck all. I ain't gonna stop ya. In fact, why rat it? Kill my mother-in-law. So, mm, yeah, okay, I'm really bothered that I'm here. What does that do? Ooh, hehe. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Praha. Ooh, that's it. Hold it, Clank. Let me see your permit. And be quick about it. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, officer. What's the matter, eh? I'm holding you up from some important, uh... This is a BH-847. Is that what it is? Sounds impressive. Are you going to be a problem? Eyes to yourself. Hmm. You are clear through this checkpoint. Go about your business. 
Jensen's obviously got some fairly high, uh, high level um, authority on his passport because he's a member of the Elite Task Force. And uh, Clanks is, is a derogatory term for um, for uh, orgs. Now, the reason I can actually lift my lean machines up is because I've actually augmented my uh, my implants to be able to do so. It's not just like a random, <laughs> you know, engine physics thing. That just looks stupid. It is actually you can't actually lift obviously objects that only a superhuman could unless you actually augment uh, or you know kind of upgrade your augments accordingly. Um, oh, is this Wenceslas Square? I I believe it is. Do you know what? I've. Or is it? Or maybe not. Well, like I say, I've actually been to Prague. It's one of the few places I've been to. What's this? Again, it's all very City 17. You expect to see uh, a combine <laughs> patrol walk down the road here. Um, but anyway, that's a nice little detail. Planes in the sky. Two planes in the sky. Hmm. He thinks the RNG went a bit, uh, a bit too close there. There's, a, there's an impressive level of detail here. It really is. Um, oh, what's this? The wall itself was brought down in the 13th century, at least where it wasn't incorporated into the surrounding infrastructure. Huh? Prague has always taken pride in embracing problems, but also the no disturbances. This plaza also offers a view of the river and the opposite bank, as well as the best view of one of the most distinctive buildings in Prague, the Palisades Lake. How is that for merging the old and the new with a dog? It certainly is an interesting looking bit. We're bound to end up in that building. That's an interesting building. We're bound to end up there at some point, aren't we? Anyway, I'm not going to bore you anymore. That's another interesting piece of architecture there. Lovely. Um, <coughs> well, I'll do for now, I guess. That's a bit of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Kind of boring, not much happened there. I was hoping that some more would happen, but oh well. Uh, this is JV signing off. I'll see you in another episode of Transdimensional Twitch.